Try and bike for it. Try and bike's watching it. <laughs> but he really likes being fed. Baby Jackdaw's just waking up, so I thought we'd do a, an update. Or well, maybe going back to sleep again. <laughs> During the day, we've got him in this little box. What happened with the mother hen was, she was constantly cleaning him up. And in particular, she was cleaning these pin feathers. Now they have got keratin sheaths around them and there is a blood supply in there. And what happened was, as she was cleaning these, one of them got a little bit of blood on it and it really upset him. Uh, I don't know whether it probably hurt him. And I thought that it would be better during the day when he's quite warm and he's fine if she just sits her duck's eggs and then he goes back to her at night. And she keeps him warm all night. She talks to him. She's brilliant with him, but she's just really obsessed by <laughs> these marks on his feathers. And it's happened to me before with hens, with chicks that they wouldn't normally have. Ducklings, for example. The hens have started to sort of fiddle about with the feet because they find them unusual. Even coaching chicks that have the feathery feet, some hens will sort of pull at those feathers thinking it's something around the foot. So it was just a thing that we were a bit aware of with him and we didn't want to break the bond with the mother because it is important. So we don't want him to be scared of her in any way and think she's going to hurt him. And as I say, she's just cleaning him up. That's all she's thinking, that there's little marks of dirt or something on him. So this has worked out really well. She's on her duck eggs and he's with us and in his little box. So I think he's probably feeling a bit hungry now, I'm not sure. We'll try him. Normally we just leave him, leave him be until he's hungry, but oh, just wanted to see if he would eat. Are you hungry? Are you awake? Are you awake even? No. In. Yeah, he's just woken up. Bit of egg. Mmm. Bit of cherry. That's my cherry. It is that your favourite food, and we'll get some later and show it. It's worms. He loves worms. He gets very excited when he sees me coming in with those, but he just eats little and often. And it's not too often. He sleeps most of the time and then just wakes up and he's hungry. It's no big deal looking after him. I don't know whether he's he just wanted a snack. Did you just want a snack? A quick snack? Yeah. That's all he needs. Sometimes he eats more, but oh, he's not quite sure. alternate between giving him protein and fruit and vegetables. He's had salad, he's had worms, he's had a raw uh, whole quail egg with the shell and cherries, apricots, peaches, kale, carrots and sunflower seeds so far. I'd say that his favourite, or she, her favourite, it's worms. What's that there? Come on. What's that? It's your favourite. Come on, wiggly worm. You know you like these. Yeah. But you have to pick them up for yourself. Oh, he looks wiggly and nice. Just leave them together. Custom to them. He's got his foot on it, stop it moving. Unintentionally, what is it? Perhaps he still wants his mummy to feed him. Well, if you think about it, it's natural because 
it's contact. Yeah. With the mother bird. And he's, Have you as seen soon it? as he learns how to feed himself, he's lost that contact. Yeah. Look. Now that's more of a bite. Oh. Has <laughs> he got two? Yeah. That's more than he's done before. Normally he just waits for you to drop it right in the bottom of his mouth. Oh! Mm hmm. That was nice. Maybe if I made it fly. He's after flies. Ooh, fly. No. Come on, that's it. Crunch it up. Nope. Nope. He's a bit hot, that's why he's oh, going out in the sun. Oh, yeah. I have finished. Don't force him to do anything because it's all part of his growing up that he's losing immediate contact with his nurse because he's now down on the ground or she's now down on the ground. There's still that contact with the mother bird or me <laughs> or Andy. And it's, we did have the hen out with him, the mother hen. Oh, and she came off her nest. And she did start to talk to him and get him to eat, but he still really wanted to be fed. I think as well is why bother to try reaching for food when somebody will put it in your mouth. No? Have you had enough? Have you had that? It tends to eat more at night when it's cooler as well, I think. But that's the thing that he is interested in and that is any winged flying creatures. He follows them really well. I'm sure one day he's going to just snap it and eat it. She should put the food on strings. Well, he's nibbling slightly at things, but it's just a start, really. Yes. Eat <laughs> the plastic. Eat the olive box. But it's all discovery of things. What's in there? What's in there? Eating the food, not the plate. <laughs> Twigs. Yeah, he's not really. He's not really equating picking things up and looking at things to do with food at the moment. It's just like interesting things like twigs and. First time he starts actually showing interest in picking things up there. Well, that was pretty good. That was close. Come on, you can do it. Come on, you can reach for that. Come on. Mm-hmm.
the soil off it. Yeah. Ah. Uh, uh. Oh, I did it. Good boy. Oh. Oh, yeah, half of it. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good going. Snipped it in there. Try them again. That was really good. Come on, you, come on, you can do it. You did it before, you can do it again. Come on. Slave driver. Come on. Get the other half. Oh. <laughs> Did it.